Ewing's molecular theory. In an unmagnetized state, the molecular magnets in an iron bar are randomly distributed with their north and south poles pointing in all possible directions. When an iron bar is magnetized with the help of a magnet, the molecular magnet arrange themselves in an orderly way. Inside the magnetized iron bar, the north pole of every elementary magnet is coupled to south pole of next magnet and so on. However, there are free north poles at one end and free south poles at the other end make the iron bar as a whole magnet with two north and south poles. Repetition of the process of magnetization only allows the maximum alignment among the molecular magnets. This means the magnetization of the iron bar cannot be increased further. This limit of magnetization of a substance is called magnetic saturation. When the magnetized iron bar is cut into number of smaller and smaller pieces, each piece continues to act as a magnet. This means that the smallest possible piece, that is, a molecule, is also a magnet. Magnetic poles always exist in pairs. Both the poles have equal strength. Magnetism of a magnet can be destroyed by tapping, hammering and heating, etc. Failures of Ewing's Molecular Theory Ewing's Molecular Theory failed to explain why the individual molecules of a magnetic substance like iron behave like tiny magnets. The individual molecules of non-magnetic substances like sawdust or non-magnets. The substances like bismuth or copper are repelled by strong magnets.